Hello gorgeous. It's Monday the 18th of May, which reminds me I need to call my high school boyfriend tonight. This would be his, oh my gosh, it's his 60th birthday. I've got to call him. <laughs> okay, today's victim is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer in Ivory or Fair. You know what, I've decided from now on I'm going to apply everything by hand and then pounce it out after I get in on. Seems like everything seems to be a little happier going on by hand and then getting pounced out afterward. This one's not happy coming out of its bottle. <sighs> okay, so today was the first day back to the gym after about a horrid three-month hiatus. That wasn't a good thing to do. But, uh, you know, I was sort of semi-retired for six years, just working part-time for my best girlfriend here and there. And, and I was doing that at home on my own computer. So... Uh, doesn't want to come out. Okay, there we go. Um, so, you know, it took some adjusting to get back to work. And uh, and uh, also now uh, Richard joins, so see so we can sort of force each other to go. So anyway, like I said, it was first day back, and uh, I set the treadmill for 15 minutes. I had it in my mind that there was a five-minute cool down. But I was wrong, there's only a two minute cool down, so essentially I only walked 17 minutes today. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to bump it up to 20, and then that'll have a 20 minute cool down. And then, you know, as soon as I feel ready, I'll bump it up to 25, and 30, and then so on, until I get to about 45. And once I'm really comfortable with 45, I'll start adding the weights. Looking in the mirror, hang on. My goodness, okay. Uh, Okay, it's gone into some pores around the nose here, but that's my really dry spots. But it hasn't gone into any of the wrinkles, and it's not calling attention to the dry spots. Um, for those of you who didn't watch my um, week two samples, uh, I tried two Ahava products. One was a serum, and one is... Um, a moisturizer that decreased the size of the pores in through here and actually up here too. And maybe that's why this isn't going into the pores. I don't have pores much. And the nose, they're still there. They're somewhat decreased in size, but nothing like on the cheeks. So I don't know if this is behaving or my face is behaving better. Uh, this Ahava is one of the most phenomenal things. It makes no claim about decreasing the size of the pores on my face. It said something about radiance and oh my gosh, truly in through here the texture of my face seems so much nicer. But also the pores are just decreased to almost nothing on my cheek area and I'm noticing it's happening on the forehead too. So anyway, I'm just still astonished. Anyway, um, so far this looks really nice and I will come back later tonight and we'll see how it did. Uh, I don't believe sadly that Neutrogena is cruelty free. You'd think they would be. Being a hypoallergenic brand you'd think they'd be. I don't know. I don't know why I think that if they're kind enough to you know cater to people with face allergies or skin allergies that they'd be kind enough not to kill little animals in the pursuit of that but silly me. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see y'all later tonight, and we'll see how this held up during the course of the day. Bye. Hi. Good evening. Hello, gorgeous. It's been right about 12 hours since I saw you last, and uh, I just checked out in the big mirror the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer Sheer Tint. 
There it is. Well, goodness gracious. Whatever. Anyway, uh, this behaved differently than anything else so far. It's basically gone, <laughs> gone, gone. What little is left is what had kind of accumulated right here above my glasses. You can even kind of see it in the camera. And uh, the rest migrated into my lines where it hadn't been this morning. You know, this morning there it had gone into the pores a little bit around here. That's even gone. It's just kind of gone into here and here and the rest of it. Oh, yeah, here. Complete, the rest completely vanish. So uh, this is not really a winner unless you only want it to last for two or three hours. And it's not cruelty free either. So this is probably going to uh, go into the giveaway box. Because it, it wasn't pretty enough when I did get it on to like save it for a special occasion, you know, like, oh, I only need something for two or three hours. Great. I'll save this for date night. It wasn't really pretty enough to save it for that because it did go into these lines here. So <clears throat> this one didn't really work. Oh, well, bummer. I have nothing else profound to say, so I will see you all in the morning. Love you. Bye. Hello, gorgeous. It's Tuesday, the 19th of May, and um, Maggie continues to get herself in the doghouse. Mm -hmm. I have a bowl, a decorative bowl on the coffee table where I keep the remotes and gum and some foot cream and the dog toys. And human logic, for some reason, didn't tell me that if the dog toys were in there, Maggie would consider everything else in their fair game. So um, she seems to have enjoyed my foot cream. Yeah, yeah. When will we humans ever learn? Today's victim, Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Ultralight Skin Perfecting Makeup SPF 15. And my color is not listed on here anywhere. Really? Okay, I don't know. I'm so sorry every morning when you see me that I'm sniffing. Um, I'm allergic to pretty much everything. And uh, in the mornings when you see me, I have generally just at that point taken my um, medication, which is Allegra, and uh, it hasn't kicked in yet. So I'm still actually, you know, I pretty much do that full time regardless of the Allegra, to be perfectly honest. So uh, last night, you know, was... Uh, Sorry, I got distracted by my nose. Um, this week, what I was going to say is I start with my Retin-A two nights a week. So I took it, I put it on last night. I'll be putting it on on Thursday night. And I will do that for four weeks. And then I'll bump it up to three times a week. I didn't sleep well last night. This is obviously way too dark for me. I don't know how I ended up with this color. This is uh, obviously going to have to do some blending. Um, didn't sleep well at all last night. I, I just lay there for hours. And uh, so we did not do the gym today. and. Resolved that, okay, week one, we're just going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday for this first week and perhaps even the second week and then start adding. Okay, let's see how this looks in the mirror. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Great, thanks, Chanel. 
Chanel is not cruelty free. Chanel is extremely expensive. And this became one with my skin. <laughs> exactly what I want. I mean, literally, it it just turned into my skin, but better. We'll see how it makes it through the day. Uh, if it continues to look as beautiful as it looks now, obviously, I won't put this in the giveaway, but obviously I won't be buying it again. This is what I want. I want to find something that's cruelty free that works as well as this. Now, as you know, I have found a couple over the past couple weeks. Well, no, I haven't. This is absolutely the best so far. Well, no, I would say that, that the Dr. Paracone compared with this, but I still am not certain whether or not Dr. Paracone is cruelty free or not. So if anybody out there has better research than me on that issue, I'd love to hear it. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I'll see you tonight. Love y'all. Bye. Hello, gorgeous. It's 11 and a half hours since I saw you last. That's Maggie. She's not pleased. She's in the doghouse. You know why. Anyway, I just took a close look at my Chanel foundation. <clears throat> Let's see. Which is Vitalumir Aqua. And I did find the color. It was on the bottom. It's beige rose. I could probably do with one shade lighter. And if you can believe it, it's as perfect as it was when I left the house this morning. It's perhaps rubbed off a little right here. I did blow my nose a couple times. But it's essentially just as gorgeous as it was when I left. Now, why can't everybody else do that? particularly a cruelty-free brand. I shouldn't say that. The Laura Mercier was really close. All right. I'll see you tomorrow morning. And what I've been doing lately is just opening the drawer and pulling one out. I've told you before I've got a drawer full of these things. And I'm going to keep going till I've tried every one of them. You can go on this journey with me. Or if you're bored out of your minds, just tune out and watch one of my other videos. But it's, it's certainly been fascinating, I have to say. Uh, I have nothing else to add this afternoon other than Chanel. Why aren't you cruelty free? Chanel, actually, before Laura Mercier was my brand of choice, like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, Chanel was my brand of choice. And uh, not that this is that old. This is like, I probably bought this two or three months before I went to cruelty free. Anyway, see you in the morning. We'll try something else. And Maggie says goodbye, too. Bye. Hello, gorgeous. Uh, it's Wednesday already, the 20th of May, and uh, I have a special surprise for you. Instead of a foundation, BB cream, CC cream, or tinted moisturizer, I have a DD cream. Yay. This is by Derma Doctor. 15 benefits in one. Dermatologically defining BB cream. It's really a BB cream. Then why do they call it DD cream? Broad spectrum, spectrum SPF 30. Here's what it says. The alphabet soup stops here. DD does it all. Our dermatologists, dermatologists dream cream defines, delays, defends, delights, delivers. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. This multifunctional corrective beauty balm provides 15 healthy skin benefits, a mineral base FPS 30, and white sapphire complex. I'd rather have that on my hand, on my finger, on my ring finger. Sorry. Um, that leaves skin looking healthy and naturally gorgeous. No skin tone matching to product shade is required. The white sapphire complex is self-adjusting and brings out and enhances the beauty of one's own unique skin tone. Self-adjusting coverage, hydrates, anti-aging, defends, even skin tone, minimizes pores, blemish smoothing, reduces redness, firms, brightens, primes, refines, enhances vibrancy, mattifies, and nourishes. Apply to clean, clean dry skin. Uh-oh. I already uh, am primed and moisturized here. Uh, use alone as a foundation primer or follow with cosmetics. Well, that might screw up the whole thing, the fact that I've already moisturized and primed and everything but 
we're going to try this anyway and see. I'm a little disappointed to find out that DD cream is just fancy BB cream though. So uh, last night was Netflix night here and once again my friend Tom came over and Richard was here as well and um, we watched a DreamWorks movie from a couple years ago I believe called How to Tame Your Dragon. and. Uh, it was very exciting for me because one of my best friends works at DreamWorks and it's just very nice to see them do such good work and to sit and watch his name go by in the credits. That's always very cool. So anyway, it was very cute. Uh, we had watched Up some weeks back and unfortunately we watched that right after Betty died and as cute of, as a movie as it is, there are all these dogs dying and it was just not a good thing for me to watch at the time under the circumstances. But this, on the other hand, I mean, it wasn't like traumatic like Bambi. It was, uh, but there's of course got to be some tension and drama, but it, like I said, it was not traumatic. It was, it was good. I think it's a really good kids movie and had a really good message too about, uh, Making assumptions about entire groups of people you know nothing about. In other words, an anti-prejudice movie. All right. I'm going to look in the mirror and see what I need to do regarding some more blending and pouncing. Whoa. Uh, I'm, I'm shocked and amazed. I'm going to have to find out if this is cruelty free. Uh, you know, I, I didn't check back when I bought it or because it was before I was doing that, but uh, this looks even better than the Chanel did yesterday. Incredible. I mean, I don't need to do any pouncing or any blending at all. It hasn't gone into any creases. It hasn't gone into any pores. It hasn't gone into any cracks or dry spots. And I have a lot of dry spots right now. Uh, I might want to put a little more on these two red spots I have, which I, I don't understand what those are. Um, I'm beginning to think maybe I have rosacea or something. Uh, yeah, it's not going to cover that up, but that's okay. Um, I have a lot of bad dry spots right now. My eyelids are very dry, um, which I think some people who use Retin-A have said, you know, don't put it around your eyes, don't put it around your nose, don't put it right here. And, you know, you sweat during your sleep and it's going to migrate there anyway. And I think that's what's happened is it sort of migrates to your eyelids anyway. And my eyelids are all crusty right now. Isn't that attractive? So anyway, this looks amazing, and uh, we'll check back in later and see how it weathers. I think I may have found my new best friend if it's cruelty-free. See y'all later. Bye. Hello, gorgeous. Uh, just home from work in the past half hour and uh, just checked in the magnification mirror, and uh, the... Derma Doctor DD cream uh, looks pretty much as it did this morning. It never went into pores, never went into wrinkles, never went into cracks. Um, it did rub off my nose. Uh, I forgot to take my Allegra this morning and was blowing my nose like crazy. And yeah, it's all pretty much gone. I'm beginning to think I have rosacea or something, y'all. Oh, because look, these are just getting worse. This thing here and this thing over here. I'm going to Google what is a blotchy red spot on your face. Um, anyway, um, I'm I'm mystified though. I went to PETA website. This isn't listed on there as being cruelty free or not cruelty free. Uh, I went to Leaping Bunny. It's not listed on there as being cruelty free or not cruelty free. I went somewhere else just kind of googled it in general and found several place, places praising it to the skies for being cruelty free. 
so hello what's the story uh, my guess is they're cruelty free and uh, Sephora is selling them in China and I'm getting mighty ticked about Sephora ruining it for a lot of otherwise cruelty free companies my thought is you know if a company doesn't themselves sell in China and the only way they're being sold in China is through Sephora I don't know but what I might rethink that because if a country I mean if a company doesn't sell in China but they sell in Sephora and suddenly Sephora has started selling in China I'm not sure how I feel about that I mean I'm not sure I want to punish the company for that if they of their own accord started selling in China that would be one thing I don't know I need to give this some thought um, thank you would you love to see a beautiful well it's almost vegan dinner it's vegetarian let's see because it has a little cheese on it what this is is there's a little hummus there a big big pile of lettuce and then there's this um did y'all really want to see my dinner uh pile of uh stuff i put together which is what it is i chop up green onions red onions cucumber carrot um celery tomato bell pepper and anything else that happens to sort of be in season and put it in with uh garbanzo beans and I mix it all together and then put just a little bit of Italian dressing on it and I put that on top of my salad in lieu of just big old chunk of chunks of tomato or whatever anyway um what we're doing it's not entirely vegan but we do sometimes put a little cheese on top so that makes it vegetarian instead of vegan but and I did want to tell you this morning. I'm sorry, I'm so yappy. I did want to tell you this morning, though. We did go back to the gym this morning. I did 20 minutes with a two minute cool down. Uh, we're going to take tomorrow off. We're going to go in on Friday, and I'm going to aim for 25 minutes. So then next week, we'll try to add a day. And as I told you, I want to work up to 40 or 45 minutes and then start throwing in some weights when I'm comfortable with that. Anyway, okay, enough with the blah, blah. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I will stick my hand in the foundation drawer and bring out a random foundation and we will continue this exciting journey and if anybody knows anything about derma doctor let me know because this i liked as well if not slightly better than the chanel which we know is not cruelty free and um, right up there with that laura mercier from last week and the uh what was the other one cover effects that was so good last week and Paracone, it looks like, will end up being not cruelty-free. Very, very sad about that. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. Love y'all. See you in the morning. Bye. There you are. You're up there. You're not down there. You're up there. Bye. Hello, gorgeous. It's Thursday, April 21st. It's 8.43 a.m. And today we are going to try Elf Flawless Finish Foundation SPF 15. And my color is porcelain. Ooh, there we go. Elf is a cruelty free cosmetic. I have used this one once or twice, and I don't really remember how it was. It feels thicker than I remember it. In my mind it was kind of a thin product. Alright, I'm gonna check the mirror. Well, it's not really going into the pores or the creases, but it feels kind of thick and it's doing the you know thing I dislike of sitting like an oil slick on my face mm, I need to do some, some blending and pouncing with the sponge but uh, so I can make it work for today I mean it's not it's 
it is calling attention to the dry spots too. Um, I guess I got spoiled by the past couple. It works so well. This is not even as good as I remember it, but um, let's see what I can do with it. Cruelty free. I want my cruelty free products to work better than the not cruelty free products for some reason. Okay, I'll see y'all later and we'll see if I can make this work and how it stood up today. Bye. Hello, gorgeous. It's um been well almost twelve hours uh, since I last saw you, and today's victim was the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation with SPF sunscreen in porcelain, and uh, it did not perform well. Uh, after I saw you, I uh, looked around on the internet googling rough, dry, scaly red patches and looked at photos of rosacea, uh, psoriasis, and eczema, and it looks like this is most likely eczema, which is, from what I read, has no new, no known cause or treatment other than uh, the usual, because uh, I took it to work with me today, the usual uh, antibiotic, yeah, sort of thing, uh, in my case, Neosporin. So every time I thought to do it, I just put Neosporin on these spots and we'll see what happens. I say that to say that uh, my face itself is not performing well, so I don't know how I should expect ELF Flawless Foundation Finish blah 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 to perform well, except that on the places uh, on my face that are just smooth and troubleless, it's still kind of sat there like um, an oil slick and was crusty and splotchy and uh, I don't know not very good I but because of the condition of my face right now my feeling is I'm gonna hold this one out and try it again in a couple weeks in hopes that my face shows some improvement in that time before putting this one straight into the uh, giveaway pile because I don't remember it doing this poorly the first time I tried it I don't remember very well I just it wasn't this bad. So um, I'm going to give it another chance in a week or so. Anyway, that's all for tonight. I'll see you in the morning. Love y'all. Hello, gorgeous. It's Friday the, what is it, the 29th? No, it's not. Friday the 22nd. Look at the clock here. The 22nd of May. And, um, Next Monday is Memorial Day, so we have a three-day weekend. And now that I'm a working girl again, I've come to appreciate those three-day weekends. Um, last day of the week in terms of our Battle of the Foundations. And today, a little tribute to Mary Ellen, Sensational After 60. I'll link her below. If you haven't seen her, you need to go see her. She's proved we can all be Sensational After 60. And I am trying her favorite, It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And um, looks like it has an SPA of 50. An SPF of 50. Oh, now that I can use. Now Mary Ellen used this, uses this but uh, straight onto freshly cleaned skin, but... I'm prepped and primed, so I'm not sure if that'll make a difference for good or for ill, but anyway, here we go. Let's see how it works. I'm still uh, pretty dry with those dry splotchy spots, but it actually looked like even just the first day of using the uh, Neosporin has helped. So, you know, I, can't, I haven't had a doctor's diagnosis. I can't say for certain it's eczema, but it's certainly dry red, blotchy spots. So, 
the color is very nice. Uh, I don't know if this comes in different colors. But this is uh, pretty close to my skin. Maybe one shade darker. I might have to blend. Okay, I'm going to look in the mirror and see how it's looking. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to do a little blending and a little pouncing, but by and large, this looks very nice. Uh, hasn't gone into the pores. Hasn't gone into the creases. It isn't covering up my dry spots, but it's not calling attention to them either. And I, yeah, I have more blending to get, do, but it's, um, I would say, a medium coverage. Uh, ever so slightly heavier than I would like because I like a medium to light, but uh, really, really nice. Mary Ellen, I see why you like this so much. Um, I don't know if our, our skin situations are similar or not, but this isn't perfect for me, but I'd say it's pretty darn close to perfect. So we'll see how it does during the course of the day, and I'll be back tonight and let you know. And I'm going to go ahead and give my summation tonight so I don't have to mess with that tomorrow. <sighs> See you all later. Have a great day. Love you. Bye. Hello, gorgeous. It's been about 11 hours since I saw you last, and I just took a look in the mirror to evaluate how the IT Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better CC Plus cream worked. And uh, there was some migration to the cracks and pores but not not severe it was slight and uh, by and large this looks as nice now as it did this morning so there you go now I'm going to go ahead and recap the whole week instead of coming back tomorrow morning and wasting hours of our time so this one um, worked pretty well and it's not cruelty free. This one worked incredibly well and I'm just not sure. Uh, the Chanel was fabulous and it's not cruelty free. The Elf was um, not so good. I'm going to give it another chance when my face clears up some but um, not so hot so far. Uh, and it is cruelty free. And then finally, the sample today of the It Cosmetics, which is cruelty free and was pretty darn good. Okay, so <laughs> that's my grading scale rather than A, B, C, or D. It is really good, pretty darn good. Fabu! Okay, anyway, so that's it for this week. I'll see you back next week. I will not be here on Monday. I hope you all are out having a picnic and having a good time or something. <sighs> I'm just going to relax and relax and relax and watch a lot of videos. So um, see you next week. Love y'all. Bye.